coming up on this episode with Kathleen McGivern. The Bloedel Conservatory in Vancouver is a lush paradise nest of the top Queen Elizabeth Park, the highest point in the city. This domed oasis houses a vibrant collection of over 500 exotic plants and birds, providing a tropical escape from the urban environment. Visitors can immerse themselves in sights and sounds of a miniature rainforest, desert and tropical garden, exploring the diverse botanical offerings and colorful bird species that thrive within this controlled environment. Queen Elizabeth Park itself is a scenic highlight in Vancouver, sprawling over 130 acres. It is renowned for its meticulously cultivated gardens and stunning panoramic views of the city and mountains. The park is a favorite for both tourists and locals. The park's beautifully landscaped quarry garden and the dancing, dancing fountains are particularly popular, making it a perfect backdrop for photography and leisurely afternoons. Seventy-seven. Seven to ten years to bloom for the first time, another seven to one to seven years between other blooms. Uncle Fester surprised readers by producing a stinky flower for the second time in 2020. Now he blooms three times before it dies.
traveler's palm. Made of Madagascar. That's crazy. And that one's the uh, Mexican blue palm. Super pretty too. Look at another 30 years, they're going to open a box underneath here. See, there's a small, under this rock is a small vault containing a sealed copper box placed there July 1st in 1954. And then they're going to open it. In, <laughs> what? In 2054. Maybe 60? Canada's first civic team. That's really random. The view you come up with the view. And we went into the middle and then we went and bought that. I feel like they could do some weeding around here. Like that.
steps. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to miss the steps. What is this weird? Look at these weird. It's only like two leaves. You see, it's like just two. Mm -hmm. oh, it is. Looks like a dogwood, but except for it's missing petals. Too bad they didn't have a label. Okay, which way? Right or left? Yeah. Different, we have a colder climate at home. I don't know. Let's go this way because it looks like less people. Yeah. This one's pretty too, eh? Well, he's got major sunburn from last year. Do you think that's a weeping birch? Waiting for us to give him a peanut. I'm over there. Forget <laughs> I bet you if he would have bent down and pretended, he would for sure come, which would be also mean. But he looks, look at him, he's like waiting for us. He's like, um, hello, you didn't get me a peanut? Really? Now I feel bad. Wow, I like how they did the pansies though. That's super pretty. Get some ideas for inspiration for next year. <laughs> yeah, they got them quite closely planted. We gotta find like wholesale prices for plants because some of those garden stores are charging ridiculous prices right now. Let's go to the bridge and then walk back the other way, I guess. It was a border on our house. Well, my friend that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching please make sure that you like this video and subscribe let me know in the comments of your of the video your favorite bird that you saw in the conservatory i would love to hear from you and i'll personally reply and i'll see you in the next episode